So my name's Jonathan Earl and I head up Consumer Mobile for O2. So O2 took the bold step, I think, of going first with introducing capped data, um, which we're doing from October. Um, the reason for that is, I, I think, twofold. One is we have more smartphones and more iPhones than anyone else, so we've seen what customers are doing with um, their, their handsets, um, probably more than other networks have. Um, and as part of that, we've seen that data consumption has doubled every six months, which is just an unsustainable business model. We've also got a tiny proportion of our customers who are um, using an enormous amount of data. And so to protect the best experience, for all our customers, we're introducing capped data um, from October. Um, but customers actually need never worry because 97% of them don't use 500 meg. They use less than that. And we're going to text them anyway because, let's face it, my wife doesn't want to know what a gig is or a megabyte. So I um, think this is the best thing for customers in terms of protecting the experience um, and ultimately allowing them to do what they like. What we've um, said is that there's about 20,000 or so um, heavy data users on our network and they're consuming about 30% of our, all our data capacity. And so we're saying to them, fantastic, stay with us. Um, but in future, when you reach the top of your um, data cap, then purchase some more or use unlimited Wi-Fi. But we'd love to keep you. I think at the time, it was, it was the right move um, because every year that I've been in telco, we've been talking about it's the year of data, data explosion and it kind of never happened. Um, the iPhone helped to change that, made accessing the data and apps and everything else really simple. Um, and we introduced on the back of that with the exclusivity an unlimited package to allow you to start to really un untap that. Um, what we've seen though is that data usage has just now doubled every four to six months and it's unsustainable. So have we been um, uh, the drivers of that I don't think so. I think the customer's natural demand has driven it. Um, and on the back of it, we're now just offering something that offers a better experience for everyone else. So, so we, we've seen data usage double every four to six months. And actually, we've seen a 1,200% rise over the last 12 months. As just as an example, um, a standard YouTube clip is the data network equivalent of 500,000 techs. So, it's kind of unsustainable in terms of what, what we've had before, which is why we're introducing something that we think is more um, better for the customer and actually commercially viable. Because we've got more iPhones than anyone else, um, that I think puts us in a, in a better position to understand what customer demand and customer usage is. What we've been amazed with is that new adopters, you always expect exponential growth of data and data usage and all services that go with it. But later adopters, um, are using the same amount of data but far quicker than new adopters. And that was kind of interesting when we saw that. Uh, we've trained all our staff to explain what 500 meg, 750 meg or a gig is to, to customers in plain language. You know, when you start saying that that means you can send 500,000 emails, give or take, um, kind of most people go, oh, yeah, I don't do that. Or you can watch so many YouTube clips. What, what we offer is, is kind of two bits of Wi-Fi. Um, we've got public Wi-Fi where we offer unlimited through the cloud and BT open zone. Um, and we've also got, if you've got a wireless router, then you can hook up your iPhone or smartphone at home, which is generally what most people do. Um, I know I do it when I'm watching Sky Sports at home, when the family are watching Bob the Builder or whatever. Um, so um, public Wi-Fi um, usage is growing, but slowly. Um, and you'd kind of expect that because um, the experience, I think, um, can get better automatically putting you on to the Wi-Fi. You know, you've still got to set stuff up. Um, but home Wi-Fi usage, yes, we're really pleased with and we want that to continue. Uh, and our home broadband product comes with a wireless router anyway. So kind of that's pretty good.
we'll look at um, listening to what customers want going forward. Um, I think the idea of a boost button to get the email that you urgently need to send at a certain time of day through um, and guarantee it is a really good idea. Yeah, I'm sure most of the networks are probably looking at that quality of service packages, etc. Um, and we'll continue to investigate it and run it past customers and see what they think. Um, so clearly you can already monitor your usage on your iPhone. Um, it might not be exact, but it gives you good indication. Um, going forwards on our MyO2 app, we will have how much data you've, con you've consumed. Um, it will be as real time as we can make it. Um, and as and when you get near to certain limits, we'll also text you. So kind of you need never worry anyway. Is, when's that going to be available and what about the other platforms on iPhone? So, so that so, so that'll be available across all platforms. I.e., how much data you've, you've used. Um, so, the Myo2 um, is a is an online website as well, um, and that will be available later this year. In terms of um, 4G or LTE, we've got a trial with the first network to have it um, uh, in Slough, um, and whilst. 4G or LTE and all the benefits that it brings is years and years away and as an example our 4G or LTE um, trial has the same equivalent um, capacity as our whole 3G data network which is pretty amazing. The, the first phone I had was um, the Nokia with the changeable cover, but I also used to have the um, uh, the Nokia that was could go into your car as a and the car jack, which was just really dependable, uh, and that was a fantastic device. I currently use a Palm Pixie, um, and uh, I love I love the Palm, um, uh, and I remember when I started as a graduate uh, the Palm stylus. So I, I have a lot of affiliation to the Palm brand. I'm really impressed with the, the Dell Streak um, and I've also seen a sneak preview of the um, BlackBerry Torch and I quite like BlackBerry anyway because I've got big fat fingers and so I can email to my heart's content and I like that design. I love the Sky Sports live app. Uh, it's fantastic when the wife's out shopping and I can watch the football. I also have an iPhone 4, as you can imagine, and yes, I also do the Sky Plus, which is just incredible. I, I am a mad sports fan. Uh, I love the BBC News because it's the up-to-date sports that it gives. I love the Sky Sports uh, website. Um, I also like the Sky Cricket, uh, and because I'm an Arsenal fan, uh, I go to the, Ars the official Arsenal app, which was also powered by O2, as you would imagine, a little plug. Um, sport, sport, sport for me. Yeah.